we got Mike Ritchie versus Kevin Primo. We got two 10th Planet Decatur guys. Mike Ritchie has had two draws. Nobody's been able to put him away today. He's had two tough opponents, and neither of them could finish. I mean, we saw Nilo, who's an amazing practitioner. I mean, he struggled to put Mike away. So we'll see what Kevin can do here. So Mike's got the beautiful beard. Kevin, purple belt from 10th Planet Decatur. Mike, a white belt from 10th Planet Decatur. So these oh. guys rolled plenty of times together. I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, I want to see how Kevin's going to crack the puzzle that is Mike Ritchie. Kevin doing a really good job winning the stand-up battle, winning the inside spaces, making Mike move a little bit more. Goes more nice double leg. He really lulled Mike to sleep right there. Really calm and just shot the double. Excellent job. He's nice already bat. passed the guard, and Mike needs to think about letting go of that head. Yeah, he's got you a see Kevin, right I think now. he's going to start thinking about possibly trying to go for the Von Flu. But Mike is so strong. You have to respect. Like This is the type of thing you see a white belt do. You're like, oh, why is this white belt holding the head? Mike's so strong, though, that he can bridge Kevin over his head if Kevin just is a little too aggressive. You see Mike, though, no facial expression, trying to use that to get his guard back. I'm Kevin, man. I'm thinking about that Vaughn flu. If he can just get that shoulder pressure in. I mean, Mike's in a deep position right here. This should be Vaughn flu city. But there is a little bit of danger with how strong Mike is that Kevin would get bridged over. Yeah, if I'm Kevin now, you're going to see him try and turn the corner and turn this arm that's, a, that's Mike's guillotine arm into a Kimura grip. Instead, though, he's looking to try and flatten him out into a north-south. We've seen Kevin already hit one north-south. He's got a great north-south game. It's really tough, man, when you got a strong guy like Mike that's just going, no, I'm going to hold you here. Kevin, though, getting deeper. Yeah, he's in a really good north-south position right here. He needs to turn Mike's face. He's got a couple of different options here, but he needs Mike to let go of his head. Mike, let's go for a split second. Kevin doing a great job controlling. And there we go. Mike's let go of the head now. Now... I would like to see Mike get that frame. You see how he's using that forearm into Kevin's near hip? He needs to get that elbow. So Elijah Carlton is becoming kind of the coach for all these guys, all his buddies. So him and Kevin are good buddies, and he is now coaching Kevin. So... Kevin possibly looking for an Americana, but, man, Mike just bridges. A strong bridge stops that threat immediately. He used the Americana to mount, maybe. Yeah, he's still looking for that Americana, but really what the Americana is, it's going to help make Mike, it's going to make Mike move. But Kevin's got a good position right here. Kevin's got a good yeah. position right here, and Kevin's got a good Americana. You see that elbow... He's exposing the back, though, and that's what I would use the Americana for. You see Mike turning aggressively on his side. Kevin, though, uses it to take him out. That was beautiful. Excellent work by Kevin using the Americana to open Mike up a little bit. I like to use the Americana in that situation to take the back, but Kevin, again, did a great job exposing Mike's center line, using that to take a good mount position. Two and a half minutes. But we left. already have seen Mike, man. He's done a great job at... Just not getting tapped. I mean, Matt Elkins had him mounted for, what, three minutes? A long time. I mean, if I'm Kevin's coach, he's got two minutes and 15 seconds. I've seen these two matches of guys struggling, of guys struggling to finish Mike. We see Kevin going for a punch choke. Elijah's calling and telling uh, Kevin that he's a little too high. And I agree. Kevin is a little high. Mike bumps off. Man, I would allow Mike to move, honestly, a little bit more. When he Surf buries in and he's, like, really arms are tight and he can bridge, like. Ooh. Kevin, though, great job looking for that back take right here. Arm triangle attempt. Mike does a great job, though, getting his guard back. Man, Mike has been very impressive. He's just so tough to put away. Mike has the underhook. 
I mean, Nilo's the only guy that's tapped him, and he just, I mean, honestly, he barely tapped him. He hit that popping triangle off Mike's awesome arm lock escape. So, Kevin, great job. Looking to pass low. Yeah, somebody needs to be telling Kevin he needs to move. 110 left. He's on got the 110 left. Great job passing. Kevin's passed again, but again, it doesn't matter unless he gets that sub. He's using that Americana again. I would use that Americana to expose Mike's back and then try and get that RNC. It's also not a bad idea to just think about getting in on those heel hooks on, on Mike. Ooh, Kevin's looking to turn it in to a north-south, though. Mike just great job with his frames right there. You see how Kevin can't get a chest connection? It's because Mike's elbows are in the way. 30 Kevin's got seconds. 30 seconds left. It's going to be tough to finish a guy like Mike in 30 seconds. Kevin's choosing the north-south. Mike, though, is about to have three matches and three draws. And I would say that's a, probably a win for him, you know, being a white belt. And he faced some really tough dudes tonight. Some really tough purple and brown belts. Ten Kevin seconds. needs to think about a leg lock right here. Mike's standing up and running away. Oh, oh Kevin takes, tries to do a jumping back take. Mike stands up, though. There's two, one, and we got time. Man, Mike's tough, dude. So, Sean Bollinger asked where your beans are. 